Hey, what's up guys? This is Ian from iHelpCorner.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to activate your iPhone 3GS 4 or 4S if it's on 5.0.1. If you don't have a SIM card to activate your iPhone then follow the steps in this video to get your iPhone past this activation screen. You're gonna need three files. They are Red Snow, the regular 5.0.1 firmware for your device, and a custom 5.0.1 firmware file. The links to all of them are in the description. And once you have all three of them downloaded, just move them to your desktop. Plug in your iPhone into your computer, you know, just have it plugged in, and then set everything aside. You're gonna need to open up Red Snow by left clicking on it twice. Go to the Extras tab, then click on Select IPSW. Find the regular 5.0.1 IPSW not the custom one. Just click OK and that's going to ask you if it's a new boot ROM, old boot ROM, if you have a 3GS, if you have a 4 it's not going to ask you. So just figure out which one you have and then pick which choice you have. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on Pwn DFU mode. Just click on that and you're going to need to put your iPhone into DFU mode. Follow these steps. One is just uh, if your iPhone is off, what you're going to need to do, I mean on, you're going to hold both the home and the power button till the iPhone powers off. Give it about 5 seconds after it powers off and then release the power button. So it powered off 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release the power button but continue holding the home button. And if you did it wrong this will happen. Just hold the home and power button again. Don't worry about that. Just hold the home and power button again. Wait till it powers off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Release the power button, continue holding the home button, and what we want to do is get into DFU mode. Keep holding the home button until this moves. Once that moves, you know, red snow, then just let go and set it aside. Okay, it's going to tell you that it's done right here. Once it says done, what you're going to do is just exit out of there. Now you're going to go into iTunes, and it's going to detect your iPhone in recovery mode or DFU mode. You might see some discoloration, don't worry about that. Okay, here's a, the tricky part, I guess. It's not very tricky though, but uh, if you have a Mac, what you're going to do is hold the Option key. If you have a Windows, hold the Shift key. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so once you hold the Option key, go to where it says Restore and then left click on it. Find the 5.0.1 Custom Restore and just click on it. It's going to ask you, you know, all this, if you want to erase everything. It's already erased, so just click restore. And it's going to restore your iPhone to a custom firmware which uh, I made using Ponage tool and it's already activated. So I'm going to be back once it's activated and then I'll show you what to do from there. All right, we're back and you probably noticed that your iPhone restored and everything went through. So what you want to do is just select English, then hit next. Hit next. Then click on Disable Location Services and click Next. It's going to say OK, just you know, click that. Enter your Wi-Fi information, then click Next. And as you can tell, it skipped everything. All you do is hit Next again. Skip this. And hit Agree. Don't send. Start using your iPhone. And there you go, it's activated, no SIM card. And uh, everything should be fine if you need to unlock it, figure you know how to do that on my other videos. Uh, if you're probably going to need to jailbreak that it first also, so you could just uh, look around in my channel. I have lots of videos on jailbreaking and unlocking. And anyways, I hope you liked watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you have any suggestions for future videos. Just uh, shoot me an email or private message. Thanks.